my favorite thing to collect are diecast robots. I'm so drawn to them. Nobody needs to explain to me who they are, what they do, and how they transform or combine. For me, they're perfect. I'm all in. Gulda sold. My name is uh, Pilo Chrysostomo, and I work for a communications company, uh, the old format type. They are the pre-cell phone communication devices, aka pagers, and yes, they are still around and are being used by the health sectors, uh, first responders, nursing homes, restaurants, and etc. My collection mostly consists of Daika Super Robots, figures, and vehicles. I also collect 1-6 figures, some Sofubi, some Star Wars, and some Lego. Majority of my collection comprises of Super Robots, which comes in three sizes. They are DX, Midsize, and SD. At first, the DX lines are the one I'm focused on. It's my perfect and ideal size. It all changed when I got my hands on some Biorobo and a Dynaman. They are as fascinating as the DX, only on a smaller scale. I collect because I simply love toys. It's been a passion of mine since I was a kid. It's my recharge after a long day of work. I can stare at them for quite a time and they never fail to bring me a smile. I can say they're my therapy, they're my static enjoyment. I remember every weekend, I think I was 9 or 10, uh, normally play with my uh, three brothers after me. We somewhat reenact robot fight scenes. I have a Down, Down Syndrome brother and he loves playing to portray the kaiju. He would chase us around the room growling and making these kaiju faces. Funny, we get so scared of him playing his part. And that's another reason why I collect. It's uh, because of fun, happy memories. I used to work for a company where I create detailed system drawings, wiring details, uh, and build instructions. I used to model my documentation on how to transform and combine DX robots. And it never fails. Uh, I always get a, a pat on the back after every presentation. And that's another reason of why I connect for inspiration. When I was growing up, and these kind of toys are really expensive. You know, you can actually pay for a uh, tuition fee based on how much they uh, are selling. So the only, the only thing that I can afford are this kind of stickers and they are readily available. I would save up my lunch money for that day and, and once I get out of school, I buy this and there's a ton of them, different kinds. And once I'm home, I normally start creating the one that I normally want. For example, Voltus 5, that's the one that's really, in, especially Filipino. Yeah. That's the one that we, we, we are really into. I would create my own Voltus 5. All I have are those white, uh, shiny poster boards that the soda company would leave on my mom's store that I pull out. Then I start making my own. So you would use the stickers as reference, as visual reference, yes, and yes. then build the actual robot yes. out of paper. That is correct. I have been collecting little stuff since I was a kid. Uh, Mid-2000, my wife gave me a Baltus 5 DX for my birthday. I was ecstatic. I have been wanting one for as long as I can remember. Uh, that day when it came in the mail, I was tunnel vision. All I can do is stare at it. I did not even help with chores. That's all I did for the whole day. Furthermore, I discovered eBay where you can buy anything. And there it all began. And this happened.
I found out the Godaikin line offer more than Baldur's 5, I was hooked to all of them. It's just like an explosion of the universe of super robots. They came in all shape and sizes. I would have never imagined the abundance, each with their own storyline, their own uniqueness. Anything that I ever imagined before were already turned into an animation, better yet into a toy. But even though the, their storyline are all different, it all boils down into one single plot, alien invaders. And mankind's only hope rely on a number of young heroes piloting their super transforming combining machine to save Earth and mankind. My simple method of displaying my collection are as follows. Tallest at the back, smallest to the front. You know, standard for everyone. Then, they need to be symmetrical, balanced on both sides. They need to be cascading, just like an amphitheater. And as much as possible, enough spacing to show the individual robot behind it. Plus, for me, I need a lot of patience because sometimes I need days to have that perfect balance that my eyes are looking for. I'm Pinoy. It's given. Voltis 5, favorite. It's my favorite. It's a given. When it comes to toy line, there are a lot of them. Each one offers their own creativity and ingenuity. But for the vintage line, I normally look for Poppy, Bullmark, Clover, Takatoku, Takemi, Nakajima, Nomura Toys, etc. And for the new toy line, uh, Solo Chogokin, King Arts, Lego, Medicom, Evolution Toys, Pipro, Hot Toys, etc. I can't say I have a fa favorite toy era. I will always be amazed and be excited to get my hands on vintage and uh, new ones as long as they transform, they combine with all their bells and whistles. A valuable piece in my collection, hmm, I guess I don't have any because I'm always, it's always hard for me to let them go, even the small ones. They are all valuable to me. I have some friends that came over some years ago. They saw my collection and they were impressed and one even asked me, what do they do? To them, they're just toys. But for me, they're my collection. They're priceless. So it all depends on who's looking. I'm always on the look for Mikanda or Mikander, just like this, and Daibaron, both made by Bullmark. They have a certain appeal that, for me, so irresistible. My goal for my collection, actually, I haven't thought about it. It never slipped my mind. I'm just enjoying myself with my ensemble and sharing my passion with my family and friends. I know my kids sees what I have been up to for as long as they can remember. They even coined our yearly small eyeball gathering, Pilocon. That's so funny. I hope in the near future, their nerdy weird dad's madness will inspire them in whatsoever shape or form.